Welcome STEM engineers. Today's lesson is called gravity glue. Now we're going to be using the force of gravity like a glue to hold our structures together today. The challenging part of this activity is that we're going to be building with irregular objects, rocks. When we're building with very uniform pieces like these wooden planks, it's easier to build tall because every piece is the exact same size and shape. Now rocks are much more difficult to build with because they're very irregularly shaped. Your challenge today is going to be to go out and find 10 or 15 rocks and bring them back and then create a single stack of 10 of them. Now this is a little challenging because rocks tend to be rounded and rounded rocks are going to be harder to stack. If you can find rocks that have semi-flat sides that's going to help you out a lot in this lesson. Now when I start stacking, I look for big rocks to go to the bottom and flat rocks toward the bottom. And then I save ones that are a little curved for the top. And the reason I like to get more than 10 is I want to make sure that if some of them don't work out, I can swap them out for other ones. So I'm going to start with this big one at the bottom. And then I'm going to find my next largest flat looking one. Put that there. Then I've got a couple of these. Oh, I can hear my dog running around in the background right now. All right, I'm up to four, and now it starts to get a little trickier because I've used all my nice good flat rocks. When I place a rock on here, I want to make sure that I'm not letting go until it feels like it's secure. Because if I let go too soon, the whole thing can topple, but if I'm holding loosely onto that top rock, I can feel when it doesn't feel right. And when it doesn't feel right, I have enough time to, to take it off and say, uh, okay, let's let's try a different one here. So this one feels just a little bit better. I might use this one again soon, but we'll see. So now we're up to six. This is one of those lessons that you may need to use a lot of persistence on because this is going to be a little frustrating. STEM lessons are not meant to be accomplished really quickly. They're meant to have a little bit of failure along the way, so that's expected. I'm up to one, two, three, four, five, six rocks, and I'm feeling like it could fall over before I could get to 10. In fact, it might take me 20 minutes to get there, so you may not see me stack all of them today because I don't want your whole time to be spent watching me do it. <gasps> okay, that one's a little wobbly, so I'm gonna take it off. Hmm, I think I might take this one off too. It's harder than it looks. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I only need two more. Can I do it? Nine. Oh, which rock is gonna help me out here? Let's see, let's see. Oh, 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 I'm knocking them all. So close, so close, and 10, there we go. Now, if you need a, more of a challenge, you can even add more rocks to your stack. This is a great activity too to do if you happen to go camping and you're kind of bored sitting around waiting for, for the fire and the s'mores to come out. This is a good idea of go around and pick up some rocks and have a little challenge with your family members and see how many rocks can you stack. There's a YouTuber that I'd like you to check out one of his videos. His name is Michael Grab, and he was the inspiration for this video and this lesson plan. He does amazing things with stacking rocks, and it is so cool to see. He's got a couple videos of his projects out there. So I have linked to one of them down in the description box, and I would love for you to go check out his work and give him a little bit of credit for um, this particular activity that we are doing today. So go ahead, have fun with this project this week, and come back and check out some of our other projects.